This is 912 East Villa Rita. And I believe these are called uh, patio homes. Nice neighborhood here. Very decent. And this one here is very good condition. Two bedroom, two bathroom with a two car garage. Very clean. Uh, needs a refrigerator. Other than that, move in ready. It's got tile and carpet floors. Nice tile. All the paint's in good condition. So this area here would be the dining room. And then over to the right here is the living room. Then there's also, I think this was originally a patio. It has a little step here at that uh, piece of wood. I think that was a patio that's been closed in to be a family room. Nicely done, looks good and matches all the rest of the house. And there's a nice kitchen here, nice cabinets, nice countertops. Appliances are here other than the refrigerator which goes down there at the end in the corner. Dishwasher to the left of the sink there. So very clean house. And then this is kind of neat. It's got this drop ceiling that's pretty common in this era house. They wrapped all this with wood. It really makes it look pretty good. I like it. And then there's also a, uh, a pocket door here so that when you walk in the front door you could close off the kitchen area. Kind of a neat deal. Pocket door works good. And this would be the guest bedroom then. Good paint in here. Nice carpet. And there's one little spot here on the ceiling. Looks like they had like a hook or something. Maybe to hang some sort of decoration. It's really the only spot I've noticed in the whole place that wouldn't, wouldn't need attention. It doesn't, you can barely even see it from here even. So it's just a small little hole, easy repair. Other than that, very good condition, clean carpets, nice bathroom, and then uh, matching cabinet with the kitchen. Looks like an updated countertop. Nice tile floor in the bathroom. Then there's a tub with the tile shower surround. Nice clean paint in there. And then we go back to the back of the house again. And there's uh, the master bedroom. Once again, good paint in here. Nice carpet. And right at the moment, I've got a broken window here. I do have a guy scheduled to come out and fix this window. So when you, when you see, or if you see that, no, I already got that taken care of. Nice big closet in the master. This room's a little bit bigger than the other bedroom. Same tile floor in the bathroom. And then a double vanity, nice big vanity. And then behind the door here is a toilet. Now I don't know if I can get all this on camera, but this this shower is really neat. It's got shower heads on both sides, so there's one there and one here with some little uh, shelves there to set your stuff on. It's got a shower pan, but all the walls are tile. Very nicely done. It's pretty, pretty neat shower. I don't know if it shows up very good on the camera, but anyways, if you come to look, you'll see it's a nice shower. So now we're back into the closed-in family room again. Or closed-in patio, that's a family room. And then we get to a two-car garage. It's got an electronic door opener. And then the, uh, it's a little bit oversized garage. So in the back of the, is the washer and dryer. And it looks like this hole here was the original vent for the dryer. There's another one been punched over in that corner for the dryer, so you have to run a little bit of a ductwork across when you put the dryer in. A little storage area and an electric water heater. 
And coming out the back, that block wall all the way around. Got some uh, pretty decent fruit trees. Looks like this one's needing a little water. This one on the other side's doing pretty good. Little concrete patio back here. There's another door that comes from the master bedroom. That's where the broken window is at, which is getting repaired. So a nice place. Two bedroom, two bathroom, two car garage. Got a little side gate to go to the front yard. Needs very, very little. Uh, bring a refrigerator and you can move right in. Nice clean, nice clean two bedroom, two bath house. North Valley.